we're going to SSH from the client PC into our switch and also we're going to um, actually we're going to do it from this client PC into this switch and we're also going to do it from switch to switch using these two switches I've got these switches that are 3560 uh, 24 port switches and I've got a PC here that we're going to use for a console connection into the switch so we'll start off um, by getting a console cable and connecting it to this PC and then connecting it into the switch to the console port right so now we can console into the switch so I'll go to desktop terminal you can see the settings here are already set for um, consoling in and the switch is blank it doesn't have any configuration on it now the text here is pretty small so I'm gonna switch from um, configuring the switch here in the terminal right through the PC to just clicking on the switch so it looks bigger on screen alright so I'll do that so I'm gonna do that and just so it looks bigger on screen so I'll click command line interface and we'll just configure it here alright so alright I'm in the switch I'm gonna type enable and now I'm in privileged user mode and then I'll type configure terminal to get into global config mode and um, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the enable secret password so enable secret and I'll type it in as Cisco alright so now there's enable password on the switch the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do control C go back to privileged exec mode and do a show VLAN okay when I do a show VLAN it'll show us the VLANs on the switch and you'll see here that um, VLAN 1 is the default VLAN you cannot get rid of VLAN 1 you can't erase VLAN 1 or delete VLAN 1 you can see that it's active it's default and all of the ports on the switch right now belong to VLAN 1 right so it's the default VLAN so if you were just to plug this switch in out of the box and start plugging these computers into this switch all of these computers by default would be on VLAN 1 and they would all be able to communicate with each other if they were on the same if they had the same addressing scheme right if they had if they were all like 192.168.1 addresses all of these PCs could talk to each other by plugging into the switch just by default right they could have a a LAN party on VLAN 1 right and so but in this tutorial what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to set up um, secure access with SSH so that this PC can SSH not Telnet but SSH into the switch and one thing we can do with that is for a level of security is try to set that up to happen on VLAN let's say 99 or some other VLAN number so that it's not part of VLAN 1 and that'll give us a little small added bit of security because then these PCs would not be able to SSH into the switch only um, a computer or another network device that's on the management VLAN or in this case we'll say it's going to be VLAN 99 right so that we'll use that as a management VLAN so that only computers on that VLAN can um, connect into the switch to manage the switch alright so to do that what we'll do is we will say okay conf t to get to global config mode and then what I'm gonna say is VLAN 99 right and now it switches into config VLAN mode and now I can say name equals namespace and I'll say MGT right so now I've just created VLAN 99 and I've given it the name management now um, if I do a show VLAN you'll see that we have the VLAN 99 is the management VLAN but it's not it's not um, assigned any ports on the switch so we've created the VLAN we've given it the name management and now we need to assign a port to it that can be part of um, VLAN 99 and then we'll connect this PC 
to that port, right? So we'll do that. We'll say, all right, we've got our prompt here. I'm going to do a conf t for configure terminal again to go to global config mode. Type in interface fa for fast ethernet fa 0 slash 24 for port 24. All right, and I'm going to type in sw tab switch port mode access to make it an access mode port. And then I'll type in sw tab switch port access VLAN 99. Okay, so I've just gone into interface port 24, turned it to an access port, and made it um, part of VLAN 99. So now what we can do is if we plug this PC, I'll just get a straight through cable here to Ethernet, and I'm going to want to connect it to the switch on port 24 because port 24 now is part of VLAN 99. Now not only that, we also need to make this um, we also need to make this switch uh, given an IP address and we're going to give it an address 192.168.99 for the management network here. We'll call it 99 since it's VLAN 99 and we'll make it uh, host 2 since the router might be host 1 so we'll set it to host 2. And we're going to have to set an IP address for this switch so we got to do that too. right? So go back to the switch right um, control C I'm going to do a conf T again to go global config mode I'm going to change the host name to switch one right and then we need to set up the um, the IP address for the IP address I'm going to put the IP address onto a virtual interface so I'll say interface VLAN 99 right which creates a virtual interface for called VLAN 99 it's not an actual port on the switch it's a virtual interface and then I'm gonna say now I'm in interface configuration mode for interface VLAN 99 and then I'll say IP address 192.168.99.2 and then I need to give it a subnet mask. Okay. And then I'll do a no shut, no space shut. See that? For no shutdown. All right. And now I'll do control C, copy running config to startup config, copy run start save your configuration, do a show run, and you can see that interface fast ethernet port 24 has been set to VLAN 99. It's an access port uh, as opposed to a trunk port, which we'll be learning about in the curriculum. And you can also see that we've also set up a virtual interface called interface VLAN 99. Notice there was one built for VLAN 1, interface VLAN 1, no IP address, but we have the IP address on interface VLAN 99. Okay, and this IP address is going to make it so that we could telnet into the switch, or we can, in this case, in this lab, we really want to um, SSH connect into the switch, right? So we need an IP address to connect into. Right, the switch by default does not have an IP address. So we had to give it an IP address and we decided to give it to it on a virtual interface. We so these are the commands that we've put in so far. You can see here I've given this PC the address 192.168.1.100 because let's say it's going to be on VLAN 1 and it's connected to the ports that are on VLAN 1. So if I was to try to ping the switch at 192.168.99.2 you'll see that it doesn't work right you can't successfully ping the switch right well 
that's because if this is um, on the one network right these hosts that are on VLAN one ports are not going to be able to communicate with a host on a VLAN port separately with the VLAN 99 port so the VLAN 99 port and the VLAN one ports might as well be on separate s switches they're not going to be able to communicate with each other unless you have a router right so um, anyway let's set up this PC so we set up this PC right here go to IP configuration and say 192.168.99.100 set the subnet mask let's pretend like there's a router even though there's not uh, right close that off right so now he's got that set up and let's see if he can ping the switch right ping 192.168.99.2 and you can see that he can ping the switch so connected to the 99 VLAN and interface VLAN 99 is on the 99 network and so 99.100 can communicate with 99.2 but 1.100 cannot communicate with um, 99.2 at least not right now and not without a router so only this PC will be able to telnet or secure shell into the switch because these PCs are not able to see this switch's IP address